under the theme of uh, Guardians of the Sky, the Sri Lanka Air Force. I am the present uh, 16th commander of the Air Force, Air Marshal Kapil Jayampati. Uh, I am interested with the task of redirecting the Air Force to suit the present uh, context. Uh, having fought a 30 year, almost a 30 year long, uh, three decade long war, it is high time that we uh, transform the organization, the Air Force, to suit the present situation uh, and to enjoy the, the freedom that we are enjoying today and to readjust the organization, the Air Force, to suit the present context. The Guardians of the Sky, the Air Force, is celebrating the, the annual Air Force Day. In commemoration of the 67th anniversary this year, starting from the 2nd of March, so to explain to us of what's happening in, in the, the events that are taking place in commemoration of this um, event, we have with us um, Air Marshal Kapila Jayampati. So could you tell us uh, to start off with? Um, now, we heard that the location has changed this year. Not, it's not celebrated in Kat, Kat, uh, Ratmalana. So could you explain to us why it's celebrated in Nampar instead? Well, the, actually the official ceremonies uh, starts, actually commences in Colombo on the 2nd of March. To the second, on the 2nd of March, we are celebrating the 67th year of the Air Force. And it's a, it's a long way, a long journey that we have come so far. And uh, the, for the, the formal parade would start in Colombo, in this Air Force headquarters, and that would be telecast, uh, webcasted to all our Air Force stations. We have 24 Air Force stations all together, uh, spread island-wide. And uh, that same morning, we are commencing our annual uh, uh, cycle race, which is named as Guan Papa Di Savari, uh, and which is a very popular cycling event uh, in the cycling calendar of the country. And uh, as you asked me why we have shifted the, the tattoo, tattoo we have shifted this time to uh, Ampara to the eastern province from Ratpanana. Okay, last year we celebrated, uh, we held, held the tattoo in Ratpanana Air Force Base. And that was basically open for the people in the western province, you know. And uh, still we did a tattoo in Baunia last year. Because with the, on the lines of the government's vision for reconciliation, you know, uh, after, you know, having fought a war, uh, almost a three decade long war, uh, so we as a responsible uh, force, uh, as an organization, uh, we, we thought that you know, we should you know, go to the people, go to those very same people to build up that you know, lost uh, confidence of those people. So that is the very re same reason as to be shifting, uh, having a tattoo in Vaunia last year. And this time we thought of going to the eastern province where we have a large population of Muslim and Tamil, Tamil population living in that area. So that's a, that's a reason, in line, keeping in line with the reconciliation uh, efforts of the government, we as a responsible force, we thought that we should also have the tattoo and give the opportunity for the people in those areas to see the capability of the Air Force and uh, get a better understanding of, the, of our organization. Right. So uh, we heard that there are several events that are lined up uh, in celebration of this, this day. So could you uh, tell us what's happening on that day? Uh, we are celebrating uh, the Air Force Day on the 2nd March and prior to that on the 1st of March we are starting off with Buddhist uh, religious ceremonies at uh, the Kalani Temple and uh, on the 2nd uh, March uh, we have going to have the parade here then the star flag of the flag of the cycle race Kuan Papa Di Savaria which commences from Colombo and going to Putlam uh, on the first day then from the, on the second day from Putlam to Polonnaru and Polonnaru we are having organized uh, uh, hoping to have a, a nice musical show uh, for the public there. Then uh, from there, the, on the third day, the event will take a uh, uh, flag off from Polonnaruwa to Ampara via Batiklu. And the ladies cycling event uh, would start off from Batiklu to Ampara. This is on the second. Uh, then the tattoo proper would uh, start off from third to fifth. And on the third, it will be officially launched by the Secretary uh, Minister of Defence. Uh, Mr. Kapila uh, Ratna, uh, President's Council. And uh, so the tattoo will be the, is open to the public free of charge. We are not charging anything. And uh, there they will be able to see uh, a lot of aerobatic uh, actions and uh, many other flying activities that we do perform in our normal day to day uh, flying activities. Plus, all the 
capabilities of the every segment of the Air Force will be displayed there for the people to have a good glimpse of the capability of the Air Force. Then, uh, so tattoo would be there from 3rd to the 5th, 3rd, 4th and 5th. Then on the 6th and 7th, we do also have planned an event uh, to do a good cleanup of the pilg pilgrims who go to uh, worship the, 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 the sacred, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't speak, Sri Bada. So we thought of, you know, deploying about 300 people and uh, do some uh, repairs to the uh, resting places uh, en route to the, to the peak as well as do, do a full clean up of the, uh, the path so that, you know, that will be a helping hand in trying to keep the environmental, you know, environment uh, protection. So this is planned for the 6th and the 7th. And on, on the 7th evening, we also do have a very special event on the calendar, Air Force calendar in um, awarding uh, uh, the most outstanding airmen and the airwoman of the Air Force and the best research team. That would be held at Katunayaka Air Force Base on the 7th. Then culminating on the 8th, on the, on the 10th, sorry, on the 8th, we are also celebrating uh, worldwide uh, uh, the International Women's Day. So the Seva the organization, uh, headed by the chairperson, uh, have also organized a lineup of events on, on the 8th March, um, uh, commensurating with the Air Force uh, anniversary as well as the International uh, Women's Day. Then on the 10th, uh, I'm, I'm very proud to say that we have got colors. The presidential colors for the Air Force uh, Station uh, Training School in uh, Combat Training School in the Etalava. And uh, it's a long overdue uh, uh, thing, and uh, we are fortunate that we got the presidential colors this year. And uh, the official ceremony of awarding colors, the color awarding parade, would be held at the Etalava uh, with the uh, participation of the, His Excellency the President. And so, we, these are a few of the events that we have planned out to commemorate the 67th anniversary of the Sri Lanka Air Force. So, um, I'm pretty sure that um, all our viewers would li love to come and uh, watch this and be a part of it. So, would you like to uh, say a few words, would you like to invite them to this program? Yes, of course, uh, definitely. Yeah. Why not? Because this is a very rare opportunity uh, uh, that your people would get, the general public would get to come and witness and see the capabilities of the Air Force, or what we are capable of and what we have done in the past. Uh, and uh, what we envisage to do in the future. So all of these could be you know, seen by the public and everything is open uh, free of charge to the public. And uh, this is a great opportunity. So I invite all of uh, the, the people who can you know, afford to find some time and uh, visit our tattoo and you know, get a good glimpse of the Air Force. Okay, so thank you so much. Um, and I hope that this event would be a real success and all what you all intend to do would, be, would, would come to pass. So thank you so much for joining with us. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Need to be better informed? Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. News worth knowing from Sri Lanka's national newspaper. Daily News. Be better informed.